Hello everyone and welcome to the Heron Online Music Cafe for Wellbeing. My name's Helen and today, as we're in Oscar season, I thought we could have a session based around nominations for the best song. There are lots of fabulous tunes and I thought to add to the fun we could play a little game. Now all of the songs have been nominated but can you guess which one of the winners? The first Oscar ceremony was held in 1929, so we'll start at the beginning and work our way through. Our first song is Cheek to Cheek, and this is from the film Top Hat, where it was sung by Fred Astaire. It was nominated in 1935, but is it a winner? so that I can hardly speak and I seem to find the happiness I seek when we're out together dancing cheek to cheek heaven I'm in heaven and the cares that hung around me through the week seem to vanish like the gambler's lucky streak when we're out together dancing cheek to cheek Oh, I love to climb a mountain and to reach the highest peak But it doesn't thrill me half as much as dancing cheek to cheek Oh, I love to go out fishing in a river or a creek But I don't enjoy it half as much as dancing cheek to cheek about you will carry me through to heaven I'm in heaven and my heart beats so that I can hardly speak and I seem to find the happiness I seek when we're out together dancing cheek to cheek found that a bit shocking so let's move quickly on our next song is the title track to the film pennies from heaven and it was sung by bing crosby but was it the best original song of 1936 <laughs> Yo 
I'm not surprised at that result. The Way You Look Tonight is one of my favourite songs. Now, did you know Walt Disney is the most successful Oscar winner ever? He was nominated for 64 and won 26 awards. Is it time for another song? Shall we sing Judy Garland's theme tune from the 1939 film The Wizard of Oz? But is there a better song than Over the Rainbow? Of course there isn't. <laughs> now, I promise I won't ramble on like Greer Garson did for six minutes when she won the Best Supporting Actress Award in 1934. Uh, no, in true Oscars fashion, after 45 seconds, the music will cut in automatically. <laughs> <laughs> Our next song is You'll Never Know and it was nominated in 1943 from the film Hello Frisco Hello where it was sung by Alice Fay. They're both new to me. Uh, more memorable versions have been done by Frank Sinatra and Vera Lynn. Just how much I miss you You'll never know just how much I care And if I tried I still couldn't hide my love supposed to say and the Oscar goes to and the winner is <laughs> now 
now, 1956, it was a very good year. And we have two songs that were nominated. And you have to decide, did either or neither of them win? Well, the first one appeared in the film The Man Who Knew Too Much and it was sung by Doris Day who starred alongside Jimmy Stewart and the song is K Sera Sera. When I was just a little girl I asked my mother She said to me, Que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. The future's not as to see, Que sera, sera, what will be, will be. When I grew up and fell in love, said que sera, sera whatever will be will be the future's not as to see que sera, sera what will be will be Well, going up against Doris is Bing Crosby and True Love from the film High Society, which he starred in with Grace Kelly and Frank Sinatra. But which is your favourite? I give to you and you give to me True love, true so on and on it will always be true love true love for you and i have a guardian angel on high with nothing to do but to Did you agree with the judges? <laughs> the most unlucky nominee is a sound engineer called Kevin O'Connell and he has been nominated 20 times and he's never won! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Our next song is one of my favourites and it was sung by Frank Sinatra in the film The Joker is Wild. It's certainly a winner with me. Oh. 
When somebody loves you, it's no good unless he loves you. was specially written for Audrey Hepburn to sing in the film Breakfast at Tiffany's and it's a favourite of a lot of people but did it win the Oscar? is to be considered for an Oscar, 
it must be screened for paid admission in Los Angeles for at least seven days. This explains the reason why Limelight won an award in 1972, 20 years after it was produced. It had to play in LA. Well, we've reached that point in our programme where if you'd like to top up your tea, now is your ideal opportunity as it's my little piano solo. And today I've chosen the title track to the film The Days of Wine and Roses, which was nominated in 1962 and it was sung by Andy Williams. Is it a winner with you? The winner is The award is given to the songwriters, not the singers, and our next song, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, uh, was written by the Sherman Brothers, who had already won an Oscar for their song Chim Chim Cherie in Mary Poppins back in 1965. But did they win a second in 1968? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang loves us too. Hi, low, 
chitty bang bang what we'll do near bar in our motor car oh what a happy time we'll spend bang bang chitty chitty bang bang a fine for bender friend bang bang chitty chitty bang bang a fine for bender friend your sleep as a thoroughbred your seats are a feather bed you'll turn everybody's head today we'll glide on our motor trip with pride in our What we'll do, high, low, anywhere we go on Chitty Chitty we'll depend Bang bang, Chitty Chitty bang bang, a fine for Bender friend Bang bang, Chitty Chitty bang bang, a fine for Bender friend Chitty bang bang, Chitty Chitty bang bang, fine for Bender Chitty Chitty friend <laughs> The winner is... Our final Oscar-nominated song is Raindrops Keep Falling On My Head, which is from the film Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Uh, it was nominated in 1969 and was sung by B.J. Thomas. Now, when he recorded it for the first time, he had laryngitis, so he sounds a lot huskier in the film than when he sings it on the record. Did you agree with the judges? I'm sure you'll agree with me that there were some great songs there. And I've got some great news for you too. Next week, thanks to funding from Nottinghamshire County Council, the Heron Online Music Cafe for Wellbeing is going back to weekly sessions. So please join Owen with his Transport Cafe. Also, I think you know what I'm going to say now. If you've enjoyed it, can you please hit the like button and share it so that all your friends can join in too. And before we sing our final closing song, I'd like to hand over to John, the Chair of Music Works, who would like a few words with you. Over to you, John. Hello, everyone. My name is John from the Charity Music Works. Thank you for joining us today. We hope that you have enjoyed the session. We would really love to hear your feedback and please tell your friends about us. If you have a song which is special to you, please let us know what it is and why it is part of the soundtrack to your life and we will do our best to include it in a forthcoming session. For those of you who are here for the first time, the Heron Music Cafe for Wellbeing is about drawing communities together through the power of music. The cafes are an open and inclusive space which are accessible to all. The cafe sessions are led by specially trained music and care practitioners who understand the power of music and the way that it can be used to promote well-being. During the pandemic, we took the cafes online 
and we know we now have thousands of viewings every week. We would really like to know where you are watching this. If you would like to know more about the work of the charity and our other Music in Care projects, or if you are a musician interested in our Music in Care practitioners training, please visit our website www.musicworksnet.co.uk. As a charity, we rely entirely on charitable donations and sponsorship. If you would like to support us, you can donate on the Music Works website or by going to the Music Works Virgin Money Giving webpage. Thank you. If you have any requests or it's your birthday, or you just want me to say hello, then send me a message and we can include it in, the, in a future cafe. That would be great. Thank you. We will end, as we always do, with so long it's been good to know you. So long it's been good to know you. So long it's been of some of the troubles that bothered my mind and a lot of good people that I've left behind singing so long it's been good to know you so long it's been good to know you so long it's been good to know you but a long time since I've been week.